Hello, this is Charles again from Hellcat Entertainment. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. And today I'm coming to you with another video review. This time we will be reviewing GVM's 1500D LED RGB light. And to let you know if this is gonna be one of the best budget lights that you can get, or is it not worth the money? So we will see. In this video, I'll be going over a few key components of the light. Um, one, we're gonna go over the packaging. We'll go over the features. I'm not gonna dive deep into the specifications because if you wanted to see the specifications of this particular light setup, then you can go to GVM's website, take a look at it. I'll have a link in the description down below. But be sure, if you do find this very informative and very helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and subscribe to the channel, which really helps me keep putting these videos on for you guys. So without further ado, let's dive into the packaging. So the specific 1500D light setup that I purchased from Amazon was the three light kit. It does come with a very nice box, I feel, for the price. So within this package, you have dual zippers. There's pockets on both sides of this container, so you call it. So it came with three lights, three light stands, and three AC adapters. So that's the way you can plug it into the wall socket. And you'll see in here, every light is actually individually wrapped in a nice bag. I do like that. It's a drawstring bag, so it helps protect the lights when you are being portable with them, carrying them around, whether you're taking them out on set or you're just using them to store within your house, within your studio, or wherever you decide to use them. The light stands themselves are also packaged in these same velvet felt-like bags with the drawstrings, which I do feel is a very nice kick as well, because as we all know, light stands, as you start carrying them around, they could definitely scratch things up. So in this container that we have, you'll see there are individual pockets as well where the lights can actually set. And it does look like there is actually room for four lights in total as I'm only having three right now. There is an extra space which looks like another light could set here very easily and it will be able to actually hold the light stand as well. Now with these lights, they do have barn doors. The barn doors will open and close. It has a little diffuser on the front of it to help kind of soften the light. Uh, later on in this video, you will see that I actually do set up the little soft boxes that GVM has as a optional add-on if you want to purchase those separately. They do have little soft boxes with grids, which I ended up purchasing because I wanted the softest light possible, being to use these for both photo and video. One of the neat features with these lights that I really enjoy is the fact that you have two ways to power these on. You could actually power them with the AC adapters which are provided, or you could go ahead and purchase the NPF batteries, the Sony style batteries, which a lot of lights, a lot of uh, screens are taking, like the Ninja V also uses the same battery. So it does take two of them. You do have to have both plugged in to make the, the light operate via battery power. Um, and I've seen some options where you could use one battery pack only and it'll still power on, but this one you do need to have both of them powered on. You'll notice the light switch has two settings. There's a one and a two. So setting one is for the AC power choice and setting two, you'd set it to when you're using the battery power. So I am currently using these lights right now as recording this video. I have one light up here for the fill. I have another light right here to my side, which is giving this nice blue color. And I do have one light under my desk, which is giving this wonderful purple bluish glow on the back. You'll notice it does have a two knobs. One knob is gonna be able to control the color temperature. One knob will control the brightness. You push in the knob here to cycle between the two-tone color, warm or cool, into the RGB color space. And then this will allow you still to correct the brightness while the other one will let you do the hue of the color. You can switch it into different modes. It does have the police mode, the ambulance mode. It has what appears to be like a paparazzi mode where it looks like cameras are flashing, a lightning mode, a candlelight mode, um, a couple different party modes where you could actually select custom colors, which is great. It does have a master and slave mode on it as well. So you can set one light to the master. You can select, set the other lights to slave as long as you select the same channel. Whatever you're doing on the master light will be repeated to the other lights in slave mode. Definitely a really cool feature so you don't have to walk to each and every light if you do want to keep them on the same setting and change the settings. And one of the other cool features too is it does actually have a smartphone app as well. So if you don't want to be walking up to your lights and you want to have different settings, you can connect to all three lights, connect to one independently, 
and change the settings via smartphone app. So if you have like a light that's boomed high that you can't reach, but you want to change the settings, you could do so via the app. And it's very great and convenient. The app is very snappy. It works very fast. The response time is little to nothing. Same thing when you're putting these in master and slave mode. I actually noticed that the response time is little to little to no, like just really quick. You do a setting here, bam, instantly almost the other lights follow suit, which is very great. So you have the AC power adapter plug right here and the choice for the two batteries there and the power switch that I mentioned before with the one and two position. All right, so moving on to the front of the light, we have the barn doors. Uh, they open and close with ease. Uh, they go up, down, set the angle. So that way you can help control the flow and you don't have much or any spill light if you don't want any spill light. These barn doors are made out of plastic. It's kind of what would be expected out of a light set of this price. They're not metal doors or anything, not, nothing super durable. So if you do drop them, uh, there is potential that maybe they would crack or break. Um, so definitely be a little cautious with those. They do have four thumb screws here if you do want to remove the barn doors for whatever reason. And it does also have the diffuser in the back. If I had it set right, you could actually, um, with the stand out of the way, you could slide the diffuser out and you could see look at all the wonderful LEDs in there. So you have two sets of LEDs, you have the RGB LEDs, and then you have the two color LEDs as well in there. So lots of LEDs going on. And just to make a note that this is an upgraded model. As of 2021, they have updated this to 75 watts, opposed to the previous, I believe it was only 50 watts or 45 watts. But these have been updated, so they are a lot higher power, which is great. I think the output so far for what I've been using it for has been great as well. So, you know, no complaints there. However, I do have one thing to bring up, and that would be when mounting these onto the light stand, if you are mounting them, um, with the light stand just completely vertical like that and you have these barn doors open um, you'll notice that it does swing and hit the barn doors which actually limits the range of motion for the light you can't get a full tilt on them so what I've been doing and what I've seen another user do would be you have another hole here and if you mount it uh, with the mount sideways like that this will allow you to get full control of the range of motion to angle the lights a lot better. You could point them down a lot better, point them up a lot better if you needed to, but definitely by mounting them with the, with the other hole as opposed to this hole allows you to get better range and angle of how you want to tilt the lights. So as mentioned before, there is a softbox available that GVM has for this particular light model and I do believe it fits very nicely. There are four corner pieces that come in the kit that snap into the current barn doors of the light. You snap those in, they have a little bit of Velcro around the edges. It comes with four Velcro strips that you actually attach to the barn doors themselves um, to add the extra Velcro there. And that way it Velcros nice and evenly all around the corner. I've seen some videos and reviews where they said that these soft boxes had horrible fitment, didn't fit right, and just looked very nasty. Now, I don't know if GVM has updated these or not, but the ones that I've purchased from them, I believe fit great. So one thing to keep in mind when you are mounting these is to be sure that you put the Velcro all the way up to the edges to match where the corners are. And not only that, when you are putting the little diffuser in there, don't try to put the diffuser all the way on the outside edges. You need to leave a little bit of Velcro left, kind of put them as far to the inside as possible so that way it actually fits all the way. This diffuser does not fit all the way out to the edges, but the reason why is because this kit comes with a grid. Now, if you're mounting this diffuser all the way to the edge without any Velcro left, how do you expect to put the grid on? So with the grid, you need to find the corners and match up the corners, put the corners in first, and then you could kind of, you know, massage the rest of it in place. And the grid actually fits pretty well too. Um, you'll notice there is gonna be some open space in the corners, which you'll see in this video. But all in all, for a $25, 
softbox modification, I, I really think it does what it needs to do. I mean, there may be a little spill light coming out of the bottom here where there's, you know, like a couple millimeter gap. Um, if you want to correct that, then just go to the store yourself and buy a little bit longer Velcro strips. So that way every inch of it is covered and that way every inch of it is pretty much Velcroed in place. That'll stop that spill light if you are getting any. Uh, as far as I could tell, I mean, when I've been using them, I don't see much spill light coming from my light over here. And the same thing, I'm using it over here with this light and I don't see any spill light. So it's really not affecting what I am doing. Uh, if you're trying to do maybe like a lower light situation, you, you might be able to tell. I, I haven't used it like that, so I, I honestly can't tell you. But as far as I see right now is, I mean, you can see I'm putting my finger through there. But reality is, is it's, it's pretty flush. Um, it's stretched out pretty good. Um, it's not bunched up, so it, it really fits nicely. So just make sure you put that Velcro to the edges. And when you're putting the diffuser in, put the diffuser as far to the inside of the Velcro as you can to leave room. Because like I said, you're going to have a grid if you want to use the grid. And just picture it as that grid needs room. So all in all, I'm very, very happy with the light setup. Very happy with the diffuser setup and the softbox. It's really neat. Um, these just clip on and off, so when you want to put it away, you just unclip them, fold the barn doors back in. There is enough room in the carrying case for all these added accessories as well, so I mean, that's wonderful. I'm probably going to pick up a fourth light just so I could have a complete set of four within that carrying case and, and call it a day. So in closing, would I say that this would be the best budget LED lighting system you could get? I would honestly believe so. I've used a series of other LED ring lights. I've used a series of small little LED packs, rechargeable battery packs that end up only lasting a few minutes or let's say 30 minutes out of full charge. Um, the higher the brightness, of course, the less it's gonna last. I picked these up on Amazon. They were on sale for $499.99, which I believe they still are on sale for that price at this point in time. So for $500 to get three lights, three light stands, three AC adapter packs, as well as a nice carrying case to put it all in to travel with it, I, I would say that's that's a pretty good deal. Now you do have to buy the battery packs separate, so you're looking at six battery packs for the whole set. Um, I ended up picking up a battery, some battery packs from Small Rig, and Small Rig has a pretty good price on, on those specific batteries. I'll put a link down below in the description as well. But as far as being, let's say, like a power user or someone that's doing this super professionally and trying to make Hollywood videos, maybe, maybe this isn't the solution for you. Um, but for someone like me who just likes to make some, some glamour videos here and there, likes to make these YouTube videos, yes, I, I definitely feel that this, this is for, for those type of people. Because as you can see, the lighting here, I, I feel it looks good. Um, can it be improved? I'm sure everything can be improved, right? But from this standpoint, for everything that I'm getting out of it and everything I'm going to be able to do with these lights, you'll see a lot of my um, photos and videos in the future that are going to be using these lights. I do plan on using these lights outdoors. Um, at nighttime, I want to do some really edgy, different colored, you know, just really super edgy work that I, that I kind of have my mind on right now as far as taking this outdoors to some dark areas and just, just lighting it up. So I think that's going to be great. Um, can I use these during the daytime to overpower the sun? No, but that's what I have my Alien B strobes for. So I'm going to obviously keep those on deck and use those strobes when it's convenient to use those strobes. I don't foresee myself using these to do any kind of sunset beach shoots either. Again, that's probably going to be either a reflector or my strobes as well. But I mainly got these so that way I could dabble more and dive deeper into video. Um, but I do see that, you know, with the R6 Mark II that I'm using and the nice ISO range with little to no noise, I do see myself kind of doing a little higher ISO, super fun color stuff with these lights and just, just kind of see what it comes up with. So all in all, very happy with the purchase. You'll see the link down below to the Amazon um, site where you could get these at. B&H has these as well. I mean, I've seen these at a couple different places. I'm not sure if they're on sale now because GVM is going to come out with the new set, newer set, higher set. I'm not sure. So I can't vouch for that. GVM did not sponsor this video. They didn't sponsor me in any way. So I'm just making this video just to help show you guys and you photo enthusiasts, you know, what's out there and what can be used. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked what you see, like I said, please hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will continue making this content for you. Peace.